Hello everyone, this is me again, Vincent. Welcome to a video about serial killers today. So, we're starting off with um, some serial killers. So, here's Ed Gein. Now, Ed Gein was uh, a guy, a serial killer before like years, I forgot, like years ago, who was actually the um, inspiration for many movie horror characters. Like, um, example, it, Buffalo Bill from Silence of the Lambs, uh, whatchamacallit, Norman Bates from Psycho, and famously Leatherface from the Texas Chainsaw uh, Massacre movies. But it, he really didn't have anything to do with those characters. Now next is um, Henry Howard Holmes, which is, he is America's first um, serial killer, and actually first ever serial killer. So this guy um, was a medical dude, student, whatever, so in... Chicago, um, the America's, uh, whatchamacallit, important event in history, Chicago World's Fair, he built a place called what is now the Murder House, so he murdered people to pay medical bills and stuff, but this guy was caught and everything and, um, was trialed for killing, uh, a lot of people, like, I can't give you exact numbers on serial killings. But next is another famous one, and one of my favorites is John Wayne Gacy. Now, John Wayne Gacy is one of the famous, one uh, maybe the most famous, um, clown serial killers. He had a day job which he played Pogo the Clown, or the Party Clown, um, but he did um, kill, I think, teenage, teenage girls, I think? Or I'm getting it mixed up, probably. But he also had... Um, he was a manager at a KFC, and he left there um, several KFCs. But yeah, like he was one of the many people who struck fear in people and clowns. So yep, he was um, probably the most recognizable um, serial killer or killer clowns um, out there during the 70s and 80s, I think. Next is um, pretty old. It's Jack the Ripper. Now, Jack the Ripper um, only killed five people, this dude. And the thing is that um, when newspaper reporters um, reported it, people, the mainstream people thought that um, it was just the publicity to make people buy more of their, um, not magazines, newspapers, just to sell more. But it, this was a real thing, and um, nobody knew who this guy was until like years later, I guess. But yeah, he only killed five people, which is kind of crazy. And this dude was... Um, in London, in the streets, he targeted um, young female, um, female, um, young women during the time, and he would just stab them to death. So yeah, that was um, Jack the Ripper, another one of my favorites, though, by the way. So next is um, probably somebody most of you may know. It is Charles Manson. Now Charles Manson, he personally didn't kill anybody. He killed zero people. But you may be asking, like, how is he a serial killer? Well, he, they, him and a group of people had a hangout in, um, I think, a, um, somewhere, I think it was L.A. or um, somewhere in California, um, that the, the followers of Charles Manson, they killed um, a lot of people during that time. But then they were all caught um, before and including Charles Manson. He confessed that he was the mastermind behind all this. Um, all the people killing killing um, other people and also the place where their um, their headquarters was at is where Marilyn Manson the artist um, records his music but the original hideout you could still find it somewhere um, around California I believe it is in California but Charles Manson uh, pretty interesting if you never heard the guy before now finally is probably my personal favorite serial killer and most interesting in my opinion it is Ted Bundy now, Ted Bundy, just note, he did save a little girl from drowning before, and she did become a serial killer. No, I'm kidding. But, um, uh, he, there is no exact number for this guy. Like, people say it's probably a hundred people this dude killed. But that's the amazing thing, that nobody knows how many people this dude alone killed. But, um, he was a part of something that followed the urban legend of the evil cop. So, he, a uh, woman was, um... Uh, whatchamacallit, visited by a cop, and the cop told her that there was a serial killer in the loose, and the, the cop was Ted Bundy. So yeah, um, that's it for me with the serial killer stuff, so hope you guys enjoyed and learned a little bit about these guys, so 
Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, rate, comment, share, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down. Watch videos. Hope to see you all next time. Um, and also... I just can't with this guy. I don't know whether to kill him or just take notes. <laughs> now we're gonna try this again. I'm not a killer. Not yet. <laughs>